everyone and welcome back to Vetcademy. When people are in the process of buying a vehicle, they're often asked what make and model they prefer. Car make and car model are terms used to identify and describe vehicles. Make is a shortened term for automaker or the company that makes the vehicle. The model is a specific type of vehicle produced by the automaker. A combination of the year, the make, and the model helps with identification. Car manufacturers typically have many car models for their car line. Something that can further identify a car's model is its trim level. Trim levels are basically versions of the car. A base car has the basic design to which the car's name is given. An increase in the trim level options upgrades the car. In addition to the car model name, the higher trim levels will often have a combination of names, initials, and numbers to help specify its features. For example, the four main trim levels by the end of Corvette 7th generation were the Stingray, Grand Sport, Z06, and the ZR1. The Stingray, Grand Sport, and Z06 each have three sub-trims, and the ZR1 has two. Today, let's look at our favorite make and model, the Chevrolet Corvette, and more specifically, the early history of one specific Corvette trim level, like the car behind me, the Z06. Chevrolet has produced many models of vehicles over its 109 year history, including the Corvette. And the Corvette has certainly evolved and changed over the past 67 years it has been around. Of course, the first Corvette models were produced in 1953. The first generation model, or C1 Corvette, production ran for about 10 years and was offered only as a convertible. Also, during its first production year, it was offered in only polo white with red interior. However, within that decade, options increased. Corvette went from one body color choice and a couple of options to around seven body color choices and about 20 different options by the end of the generation. By the early 1960s, things were changing. Zora Arkestuntov, Larry Shinoda, and the rest of the Corvette team had been very busy redesigning and engineering the Corvette for its second generation debut. When the new Stingray was released in the fall of 1962, the only major parts carried over from the first generation were the engine and transmission. Virtually everything else was new, including the redesigned body and chassis. Of course, the most unique feature of the 1963 Corvette was its rear glass split window. One thing that was very different was the option to purchase a special performance package. Zora, a longtime supporter of racing and a sports car racer himself, had successfully worked with GM and Chevrolet for the 1963 Corvette to offer a unique options package for those customers who were planning on racing the new car. Chevrolet's general manager, Mr. Ed Cole, put engineers and racers Zora Arkestentov and Mr. Maury Rose, himself a three-time Indy 500 winner, in charge of the development of putting together a special performance parts package option to offer as part of Corvette's regular production options, or RPO for short. They coded or named the RPO number the Z06. The purpose of the Z06 package was to give private race teams and those who intended to use their Corvettes on a track extra factory support by approving more specialized performance equipment. It wasn't really advertised as there had been a ban on factory backed racing at the time, although the ban had begun to end in 1962. Still, a few Corvette customers, even those with racing intentions, didn't know much about the Z06 package as there wasn't much advertising for it. The Z06 option added over $1,800 to the base price and was the most expensive option offered at the time. Although this price didn't include the cost of some extra optional equipment, it did include several upgrades and features that were especially important to those interested in racing the car, including things like upgraded brake and suspension systems, wider wheel wells, and safety features. There were other options that were mandatory for the Z06 to be a race-ready car, including the L84 fuel-injected 327 horsepower engine, among other components. 
One of the most important items that could be combined in the Z06 option was a larger 36 and a half gallon fuel tank. The larger tank allowed racers to stay on the racetrack longer as they wouldn't need to refuel as often. Z06 option cars became known as big tank Corvettes. The large tanks were originally limited to coupe models because the larger tank wouldn't fit convertibles. By September of 1962, Chevy had built 15 Z06 option 1963 Corvettes. Several of those first cars were quickly given to a small group of racers, including Dave McDonald, Doug Hooper, Mickey Thompson, and others to race in October, just a few weeks later. That race at Riverside International Raceway in California was won by Hooper. In all, 199 Corvettes with the Z06 package were built in 1963, making a Z06 big tank split window coupe the most desired of all mid-year Corvettes. It wasn't until 38 years later, in 2001, during Corvette's fifth generation, that an RPO Z06 option was made available. It had not been so since 1963. The 2001 Z06 had a 385 horsepower LS6 engine, an upgrade of the standard 350 horsepower LS1 engine. It was later upgraded further to 405 horsepower for the 2002 to 2004 models. Combining its now lower weight with higher horsepower, the fifth generation Corvette Z06 was one of the fastest production cars and several thousand were built. The sixth generation came along in 2005 with its base Corvette Coupe and the Z06 returned the following year in 2006 with an all new lightweight aluminum frame and a 505 horsepower LS7 engine. The frame was over 100 pounds lighter than the steel frame on standard models. The start of Corvette's seventh generation began with the return of the Stingray in 2014. The Z06 made its next appearance in 2015, only this time the Z06 was offered in both a coupe and a convertible with a removable roof panel. It now had a supercharged LT4 engine with 650 horsepower. Presently, we're heading into the second year of the eighth generation and many people are wondering and predicting what the future holds as far as Corvette trim levels. When may the Z06 make its next appearance? And what awesome features will it have the next time around? Of course, nothing is official as of yet, but we can bet that this mid-engine generation will just keep getting better and better. We hope you've enjoyed these first 14 episodes of season two. Tune in next week for a fun little Vetcademy quiz.